I first became uh, aware of ACGT when they um, broadcast a very unusual funding announcement. And, and um, we, we've grown up in an area of neglected funding in an area with complex cell and gene therapies. It's not been frequently and, and well represented at the NIH and their grant portfolio. So um, one day I had a, a, a message come up that we had an opportunity to apply for grants in cell and gene therapy. And it was like manna from heaven. So with the grant we got from the ACGT, we were able to conduct the experiments that were required to move it into clinical trials. It was a real paradigm shift where we found that these cells could actually be made to kill thousands and thousands of tumor cells. Very different than the current drugs we give, which go away within hours usually after they're given and have no lasting effect. In our patients now, we, even though they had a single infusion of these T cells, we can still find them today. And the remarkable fact in our trial was that all three patients had uh, uh, very prominent anti-leukemic responses and two of them have no traces of leukemia even today. So I think the field is tremendously energized just based on the results from three patients. It's to me an incredible experience and, and even talking to the patients themselves is very rewarding because they can tell you what it was like to go through this and then to merge with it and not have to take medicines anymore it is a pretty rewarding experience. The field I think has reached a point now of credibility before it was really not accepted outside of some people with visionary people like Edward Netter. I can't think of an area where the funding from philanthropy has been more essential to making a new therapy than in this particular case. So in this case we have um, I think a new platform therapy. Um, a number of my colleagues have some very creative ideas that are just beginning trials as we did last year and we'll extend this into new arenas with different cancers and, and ideas that will just push the field of cancer therapy much farther along. With the netters, in fact, we got a second grant from them to extend this into ovarian cancer so that by changing what we did in leukemia, we have introduced antibodies that should work both for ovarian cancer and as well as pancreatic cancer. The ability to do medical research is uh, is a tremendous honor. Um, it's one where if it works it can benefit people and I've had loved ones pass away from cancer as other people have and I've watched other patients. And that motivation makes one get up in the morning to look at yourself in the mirror and say what have you done that to, to solve the problems. And, and I am privileged to be able to work in this area uh, that and, and now to have been able to actually have a therapy and be able to test it in patients and watch it is just enormously rewarding. So I can't think of a more exciting job.